the woke sure love to destroy everything that they touch. And National Novel Writing Month is yet another of those. You'd think this would be something that's not killable, but they always insert their politics into it. It always has to be some sort of problem. It always has to be some sort of drama because this is who these people are. This is the only way they can get attention for themselves. And it's really sad uh, to watch uh, because I, I actually came up through National Novel Writing Month when I first got myself writing um, my second novel. I actually used this and my third novel I actually used this and uh, and and used it over the years. And it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. They started sending political messages out, urging people to donate for things. And it got crazy over the last couple of years. Uh, that wasn't enough to take it down because, you know, of course, the woke all rally behind this crap. Uh, it was AI. <laughs> this is so funny because it's who cares? Like, let people do whatever they want to do. This isn't serious, uh, but I guess it is. I'm not really scared about AI, but, uh, you know, I get a lot of the woke are because they have no talent. They're talentless hacks, and that's why we do what we do. Please hit the like and subscribe button here, my friends, and join us as we talk about all things in culture, even crazy stuff like this. I'm a science fiction writer, and uh, I have a beautiful trilogy that you will love. It's called The Orishan War. Starts with the stars entwined, and it's about a, a spy who goes out into alien territory in order to try to like retrieve some reconnaissance on some tech, and uh, he ends up in over his head as a war escalates against humanity. It's a lot of fun. Uh, big personal stakes here, big galactic stakes here, lots of stuff. Uh, I have some great world building that's set up for a full universe, which we're about to explore uh, in a big way with a new novel that I'm uh, just about finished. So check it out. It's in the description below. All three books are available in ebook, print, and audio. If you like audiobooks, they're, they're there for you. And thank you guys so much for supporting our books and supporting our channel. Uh, this is how we do things going forward. Like I said, um, this is uh, something I used before. National Novel Writing Month, if you don't know what it is, is a it's like a tool for writers they set up, and it's, it was pretty cool. Um, it's November every single year, and uh, just the basic idea is great. Like uh, you write 50,000 words over the course of a month, and uh, and it's got tracker tools, productivity tools to try to like in like scheduling tools, try to like force you to be organized and treat writing like it's uh, something you do every day. And that's kind of how you build habits in life. If you do something every day, uh, after about 20, 30 days, your, your brain actually becomes uh, attuned to it. Uh, it. It is how we kind of program ourselves. And so if you build yourself habits like this, this is how you're successful with anything, my friends. Uh, and, you know, starts with YouTube, do it every day. Uh, NaNoWriMo, do it every day. Um, it is it is definitely a tool for a successful stuff. There's your life hack for the morning. Um, and so this website uh, was chugging along for a long time, and it started getting weird. Um, I uh, covered it a couple years ago uh, with uh, NaNoWriMo harassing their pro-life members with political emails about, uh, you know, uh, just aborting babies and the like. It's like, what does this have to do with writing books? Like, leave us alone. Stop. But they can't. They just have to go in. So a whistleblower uh, who's actually inside the organization came forward to me and uh, and posted uh, and sent to me, I've been one of their remote volunteers for almost a decade as an ML for my local area and enjoyed it. A few weeks ago, uh, HQ sent out an email about new policies they will be implementing starting for this year's cycle. One of them requires all volunteers must go through CRT, woke DEI training of some sort, either one that they provided from one of their companies and then send them a letter about how they will implement the training to their region. I haven't fully looked into it yet, but I'm assuming this will require turning all of our spaces into quote safe spaces and all of the woke SJW whatever. Right now, my area is a chill space. We don't have focus on labels and identities and call out culture, but I'm afraid that if I don't turn it into one of those types of spaces, I'll be removed from my spot. They also reported that NaNoWriMo at the time was having BIPOC, that's, uh, what is it, Black Indigenous Persons of Colors Zoom meetings, uh, which was discriminating against white authors. And uh, it was brought up also that that this, this organization, uh, of course, hailed from Berkeley, California. If you've never been to Berkeley, uh, I actually went to UC Berkeley. It's a, it is a leftist nightmare. It is, a, <laughs> it is crazy there. So not to be outdone, uh, then it gets crazier. Uh, and I, I found this as well. Uh, this uh, this came from uh, uh, last year, and it said the nonprofit NaNoWriMo ignored reports that one of their mods funneling teen minors from their sites to an ABDL fetish site. This is weird, creepy stuff, guys. Uh, only banning the mod six months later when the users who uncovered the issue got frustrated and went public. So they ignored it for a long time. 
Uh, really funny to start. Remember how the quirky write a book in 30 days program allegedly ignored reports of minors possibly being funneled into a fetish site from their forum and allegedly didn't investigate into it, although it allegedly involved one of their mods? Not good. Um, and then it gets crazier again. So they talk about it again, and uh, uh, their new draft ML contract bans any volunteer from revealing internal info to users. So uh, here, here's uh, their their uh, confidentiality agreement. This is something that uh, like they they put all these woke always do this. They put these NDAs into place, and so like something bad happens, you're legally not allowed to whistleblow about it. Is what they try to like coax you into. Uh, and this is exactly what they do. I, without prior consent, I agree not to disclose to any person or entity the substance of import of information received from National Novel Writing Month unless it is provided specifically for wider distribution. In such cases, I will not disclose information prior to the organization's designated communicated date and time. The only reason anyone found out about alleged abuse and exploitation of minors, both on the main site and their teen site, yes, they have their own teen site, of course, was because the users collaborated with Internal Info. Since they, they're they trying to make sure no one can try to hold them accountable ever again. Now, like I said, this didn't shut the organization down. It didn't even make a dent in anything. It came up this year uh, where it gets crazy and you get on the website uh, and they posted this. What is NaNoWriMo's position on artificial intelligence? And, and this in itself is very funny because it's a woke virtue signal by itself. NaNoWriMo neither explicitly supports nor condemns any approach to writing, including the use of tools that leverage AI. We recognize that harm has been done to the writing and creative communities at the hands of bad actors in the generative AI space, and that ethical questions and risks posed by some of the aspects of technology are real. The fact that AI is large, complex technology category, which encompasses both non-generative and generative AI, applied to a range of ways to a range of users, this contributes to our belief that AI is simply too big and too varied to categorically support and condemn. That's actually a reasonable statement. And if you actually look at most of the woke writers out there, the Horror Writers Guild, uh, the, uh, the the CIFWA group, they flip out about AI constantly. Uh, it just says it's the most horrible thing. And it's because they're all a bunch of talentless hacks. Because the main problem that you'll run into with AI, if you're trying to generate a story or whatever, is the quality is just not, is not there. Uh, it is, uh, there's no way an AI story could ever do anything this good. Uh, bottom line. And so I, you know, that's why I'm not worried about it. Um, but these people are talentless hacks and that's why they always flip out. NaNoWriMo's mission is to provide structure, community, and encouragement to help people use their voices, achieve creative goals, build new worlds on and off the page. We fulfill our mission by supporting humans doing writing. Please see this related post that speaks to our overall position on non-discrimination with respect to approaches to creativity, writers' resources, and the personal choice. This, uh, this seems again, uh, like reasonable like but for the sjw's they went into full cancel mode over this they flipped out they started writing letters across things they had bigger authors try to cancel national novel writing month uh they're going out there calling it like write your book month now uh in order to just sort of virtue signal they're not a part of this all because uh this this they wouldn't condemn ai I mean, this is absolutely insanity right here, but this is what the woke do. And uh, a bunch of woke names in science fiction were doing it. There are people you wouldn't even know. I put them into the article here on Fandom Pulse if you do want to go read who's uh, kind of the main cancel folk on here. Uh, and that is uh, on my sub stack in the description below. Uh, but uh, again, you probably don't know who they are unless you're an insider in the business because uh, these people don't actually sell books to normal people. And then uh, because of all the, f the pushback, they have another note to our community here. In early August, debates about AI on our social media channels became vitriolic. It was clear the intimidation and harassment we witnessed were causing harm within the community of writers. The fact we crafted last week were written to curtail those behaviors. We wanted to send a clear signal that NaNoWriMo spaces would not be used to bully or delegitimize other writers. Uh, this was consistent with our May 2024 statement, which named lack of civility in NaNoWriMo spaces as a long-standing concern. Uh-oh. They're falling apart, guys. Taking a position of neutrality was not an abandonment of writers' legitimate concerns about AI. It was an acknowledgment that it NaNoWriMo can't maintain a civil and inclusive community if we allow selective, selective intolerance. Woof. 
we except for against conservatives, right, guys? <laughs> That's okay. Uh, but we absolutely believe that AI must be discussed and that its ethical use must be advocated for. We don't believe that NaNoWriMo belongs at the forefront of that conversation. That debate should continue to thrive within the greater writing community as technologies continue to evolve. We apologize that our original message was unclear and seemingly random. A note on ableism and classism was rooted in the desire to point out that people under certain circumstances, some forms of AI can be life-changing. That's actually true. Uh, Geez. I mean, fighting against this is so stupid. Again, this is like a little club just for people to just like have fun. Maybe I'll take over NaNoWriMo. Maybe I'll go in and just be very active in it and get them really mad just that I'm there. That'd that'd be pretty funny. Uh, I'll see. It's uh, November's coming around the corner, and I do have some books to write. All right. (laughs) So this caused a major uh, shitstorm in the writing community. It's absolutely crazy to watch, and it's hilarious to see this fall apart after all their woke virtue signaling that they've done over the last recent years. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button, and please check out my Arishan War. Grab all three books, guys. You'll enjoy it. It builds into this wonderful, wonderful conclusion. Uh, and like I said, we're going to be spinning out some fun stuff in this universe coming soon. If you like sci-fi, you're going to love this. I appreciate you for being there. It's in the description below.